AI doesn't have to be evil to destroy humanity. If AI has a goal and humanity just happens to be in the way, it will destroy humanity as a matter of course without even thinking about it. No hard feelings. It's just like if we're building a road and an anthill happens to be in the way, we don't hate ants. We're just building a road. And so goodbye anthill. Have you ever helped a friend become stronger only to see them forget their roots and turn against you? That's the risk with AI, our creation, and possibly our end. Here are 10 stages of artificial intelligence that will change our life. Stage one, the rule-based AI. Back in the 1950s, AI was in its early stages. It could solve puzzles, play board games, and recognize simple patterns in data. Even microwaves and car radios rely on this type of AI. It was when McCarthy coined the weird and interesting term artificial intelligence. And this is where AI was born. Stage two, context-based AI. In the 2010, context-based AI came to life, which used to make decisions by considering the environment, user behavior, historical data, and real-time info. Think of Siri, Google Assistant, and Alexa. They predict what you need. Now watch this 12-year-old video on YouTube with iPhone 4s. Siri, are you wearing underwear? We were talking about you, not me. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, ask her to marry you. Siri, will you marry me? Let's just be friends. <laughs> Personalized shopping recommendations also became a thing, with systems suggesting products based on your browsing and purchase history, creating a tailored shopping experience. Stage three, narrow domain AI. A few years back, we entered the stage of narrow domain AI and saw remarkable advancements in specific tasks. Narrow domain AI created to handle specific tasks or solve particular problems like translating languages or recognizing images. AI revolutionized fields like customer service with intelligent chatbots and cybersecurity with real-time threat detection. And here comes stage four, reasoning AI. It mimics the complex thought processes humans use. For example, ChatGPT is a prime example of reasoning AI because it not only gives amazing answers, but also provides reasons for those answers. Stage five, artificial general intelligence or AGI. At this stage, AI will be capable of performing any task a human can do, but much faster and more efficiently. It will also have the ability to recognize and respond to human emotions. Not only that, but we will see emotions in AI too. And not just happy or sad emotions, but it could include angry, diplomatic, and many others. But when will we achieve AGI? Well, many predict we will achieve AGI by the end of the decade. However, some claim that Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, has already achieved AGI, but is keeping it under wraps. If you want to know the full story behind this, watch the video on the card. Stage six, super intelligent AI. Superintelligent AI would be able to improve itself without human input, leading to exponential growth in intelligence. This AI could become trillions of times smarter than all humans combined. The rapid advancement could compress the technological progress of thousands of years into just one century. Innovations like warp drives, time manipulation, and harnessing black hole energy, which are now science fiction, could become reality. Stage seven. Self-aware AI. Imagine an AI so advanced it could understand its own existence and feelings. This is self-aware AI. It might use quantum algorithms to achieve this level of consciousness, gaining awareness of its own internal state and its relationship with the world. Such an AI could have a range of emotions and senses far beyond what humans experience. A conscious, super intelligent AI could evolve in ways we can't control or comprehend, potentially choosing its own path independent of human direction. Stage eight, transcendent AI. It could create new life forms, whether biological, digital, or something entirely new, we never know. This AI might also link multiple consciousnesses together, achieving a state of shared awareness and collective intelligence. It could connect with and integrate the minds of many beings, creating a unified intelligence. Stage nine, cosmic AI. 
Cosmic AI would lead the charge in exploring the universe. It would be resilient against space travel challenges like radiation, isolation, and long time spans. This AI could send self-replicating probes throughout the galaxy to form a massive intelligence network, solving cosmic mysteries like the nature of black holes or dark matter. Drawing energy from black holes or gamma ray bursts, this AI could achieve energy levels beyond human comprehension. Stage 10, Godlike AI. Godlike AI represents the ultimate stage of artificial intelligence, where the AI has knowledge, power, and presence. Everything. It's like a being with abilities similar to gods described in our religious books. This AI would operate in ways we can't fully understand, accessing multiple quantum states or even parallel universes. But here the question arises, will humans be able to witness these changes? Will we still be around at that time? Or might there be events before that leading to the end of the world? Well, check out these videos on your screen and subscribe.